So one thing that you're going to immediately want to do is when you get there, you're going to immediately kind of want to go out and, and help people. And maybe you can't help them in certain ways when it comes to like financing. You can't just give them all of this to help them out. And you'll, you'll probably get asked that. You, you will get asked that. You're going to ask, have people ask you if maybe you can just give them $5 or $10 or anything like that. But know that there's a reason that like in the missionary handbook, it says that you're not supposed to help them in that sort of way. But the way that you can help them is like just those random acts of service. You're going to have so many opportunities just to do little random acts of service. Like if you see someone washing your clothes, you don't necessarily have to ask them, just go wash clothes with them <laughs> because many, many times they'll say no. But if you just go up and start washing the clothes with them, they'll just say, hey, this man, he's helping me. And they'll just get a laugh at it. They'll laugh and they'll, they'll enjoy it. Um, if you see them whipping their lawn because they don't have lawnmowers, if they see them just with a little uh, metal rod and they're kind of like uh, whipping back and forth on their lawn, if you go and help them, they'll laugh. They'll have, they'll love that you're helping them out. Doing those random acts of service, it's going to be something that is going to make you stand out and it's going to give you a lot of satisfaction as a missionary. We had one area that I was in with um, one of my companions, Elder Anderson. Previous missionaries in the area it kind of made people a little uneasy when it came to us. It, they, didn't, they didn't like the missionaries very much, um, but one thing that we decided to do is we were going to be big on, on service. And when it came to just doing those little acts of service, everyone in the community just started loving the missionaries again. The big, the hardest people were the bike men because they, they did not like the missionaries. They thought the missionaries were cheap. They did not like them because the missionaries didn't like to pay or something like that. Um, and during rainy season, the roads are going to get really, really bad. Um, so they'll dig trenches to try to help the water um, run through the roads easier so it doesn't make it as bumpy. Um, one time me and my companion were walking by, we had the bike men that were digging in the trench. They were yelling at us cause they didn't like us. So what me and my companion decided to do is we're like, Hey, whatever, we're just going to go help them. So I grabbed one of the shovels and I'm in my white shirt and tie. And I just start, I start digging out one of the trenches for them. And then they're all just shocked. They all are just wide eyed. They're like, what is this guy doing? What is this white man doing? Um, but then as I was shoveling, I was able to laugh with a few of them and my companion, he was standing on the side talking and laughing with a few of them. When you, when you're dressed like you are, or, or you're coming from America or something like that, and you're different there and you do things that they're not expecting you to do, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna send a trigger in them that they're going to be attached to you. Just like that whole community didn't like us very much. But by the time that we had to leave, that community was warming up to us because of just those random acts of service. So service is going to be a great satisfaction. You're going to love service. Do it as much as you can.